You'll need them all at the hunting <laughs> What was this place? There. That console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring either subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. The visions in the growth have changed. The words of the Ten are not clear to us. Here, this must be the vision of the The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction. That when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Let us hope right. the new marshals don't I need to get Aether back, back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Maybe when he was, was younger, 
Picaro All strength to Picaro's soldier. <laughs> Like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on. If you can do your thing, we learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. The old ones used holograms for everything. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. 
The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Aluthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Aluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Aloy. That was sneaky of you, patching in Varl and Aaron to our conversation. I am pleased you accepted their help. Is there something you wish to discuss before you depart? What can you tell me about Demeter? Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. So once I bring it back, all the blight out there will start to get better. While permanent restoration requires the abilities of Hephaestus, 
I may be able to improve conditions in the region for a while. However, a word of warning. Like Aether and Poseidon, Demeter's response to my query was highly irregular. Alone and frightened, it may have taken measures to assure its security. Okay, I'll keep my guard up. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Perhaps you will be able to procure Eleuthia at the SOS coordinates. Artemis and Apollo, however, remain unaccounted for. So, Poseidon, what do we know about it? Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Once it is restored to me, I may be able to improve conditions in the regional watershed. But I must warn you, like the others, Poseidon is lost and frightened. It may have taken measures to protect itself. I'll be careful. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. How's Catalo doing? I detect that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him, though he has not voiced his thoughts. I may be able to assist in his recovery, should he be interested. Really? I'm sure he will be. How long do we have, then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well... Every bit counts. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Well, keep at it. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. 
As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. <gasps> Going down! There she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. I can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she could make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. The Spectre had instructions to... assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. <laughs> 